गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक ट्रॉपिकल रीजन ओके ट्रॉपिकल रीजन आर लोकेटेड अराउंड द इक्वेटर ट्रॉपिकल रीजन आर लोकेटेड अराउंड द इक्वेटर क्लियर सो वॉट इज योर लोकेशन अराउंड द इक्वेटर क्लियर now second point climate as i told you these regions are located near the equator right so the climate is think the climate is hot clear so the climate of tropical region is hot am i clear so location tropical regions are located near the equator and they are having hot climate okay now if i talk about winter and summer okay so during the hot summer during the hot summer the temperature may go beyond 40 degree celsius okay so during the hot summer as you know the climate of tropical region is hot so during the hot summer the temperature can go beyond 40 degree celsius okay so temperature can go beyond 40 degree celsius clear now if i'll talk about winter and if if i'll talk about the coldest month of the winter okay so in the coldest month of the year the temperature will not go below 15 degree celsius okay temperature will not go below 15 degree celsius am i clear so this is the temperature range during the coldest month the temperature will surely be more than 15 degree celsius and in the summer in the summer it can go beyond 40 degree celsius so generally you can see you can compare you can see the climate is hot you can see the temperature range 15 to 40 degree celsius so the climate of tropical region is hot clear now third point rainfall tropical region receives plenty rainfall clear so tropical regions receives plenty rainfall so i can say the climate is hot and wet clear it receives plenty of rainfall clear okay now we will discuss the topic tropical rain forest okay an important feature of tropical region is the presence of tropical rain forest clear now tropical rain forests are found in central america central africa south east asia clear so these are found in central america central africa and south east asia clear now as i told you about the climate of tropical region climate of tropical region is hot and wet right this region receives plenty of rainfall and it is hot right so due to the continuous warmth and plenty of rainfall this region 
supports a wide variety of plants and animals. Clear? I am repeating once again as there is continuous warmth and plenty of rainfall. Okay? Or I can say favorable conditions are there. Conditions that favor the survival of a living being. Clear? So the conditions are favorable. There is plenty of rainfall. There is warmth. So as the conditions are favorable. So this region supports a wide variety of plants and animals. Am I clear? It means in tropical rainforest we will find a wide variety of plants and animals. Clear? Now, I am giving you a few names of the major animals that you will find in tropical rainforest. Lion, Tiger, Monkey, Apes, Gorilla, Lizard, Insects, Snakes. Clear? Now, as I told you, this region supports a wide variety of plants and animals. So just think, if so many different species of plants are present, so many different varieties of animals are present, so there will be a competition between them, right? There will be an intense competition between the different plants and different animals. They will fight for food, for space. Clear? Due to the favorable climatic conditions, tropical rainforest supports a wide variety of plants and animals. But as I told you, there will be a competition between the plants and animals. They will fight for space, for food, right? So, in order to avoid this competition, different animals are adapted in different ways. Okay, so first of all, let us talk about the adaptation of red-eyed frog. Clear? So, adaptation of red eyed frog as in the tropical rainforest there is a competition for space okay so now many animals they are adapted to live on the trees it means you can say they are utilizing the maximum area as on the ground there is competition for space so many of the animals are adapted to live on the trees and this frog is one amongst them clear red eyed frog is adapted to live on the trees now in order to live on the trees it must have some adaptation that favors its survival on the trees. Right now. So for this, red-eyed frog has sticky pads. Okay. So this frog has sticky pads on the feet. Am I clear? What is its adaptation? This frog has sticky pads on its feet. So suppose sticky pad is there. Okay, so this pad will help the frog to easily climb on the tree so that it will not fall down. These sticky pads will help in maintaining a good grip. Am I clear? Okay, thank you.